Hello, my name is Christopher and today we're going to show you how to install NAN on Proxmox. This makes it to where you can create automations from your home and uh, hook into Home Assistant, different things like that, triggers and then actions. And then you can add if statements and all that inside the automation editor. And also this series is about creating a smart home from scratch. So I'm going to go over installing software to going over home automations. And uh, if you want to follow along, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. So we're going to start out on the NADN homepage and build complex automations 10 times faster without fighting APIs. So you can do this, you can start a webhook, send a webhook to there, then you can rename keys, you can send it to Postgres, Google Sheets, and do an if statement, if it's true, go here, if it's false, go here. It's pretty neat in the way it works. And um, you can do code, integrate with any app, painless debugging, host on your own infrastructure, and that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be installing on Proxmox. Um, you can do software as a service back in prototyping. Pretty, pretty neat all what it can do. Um, so, let's go over to the GitHub. So this is where the development is, and I'll link it down in the description. I'll link all these URLs down in the description so you can get to them really easy. Um, it's got integrations, 200 plus different nodes to automate wor workflows. You can install it on Docker, but right now we'll be installing it on Proxmox. So, let's get started and uh, let's go to the Proxmox V helper scripts. And before you get started, you can go over to the um, the Proxmox uh, GitHub. And um, you can go into the install right here. Then you can go to NAN. So let's go to the install right here. So you can see what it's doing and setting up node.js. Then it's installing NADN globally. It's setting up the service. It's, it's enabling the service, creating, created the service. Then it's removing and then auto clean. So always look over this and see what it's doing before you do anything. Set default settings. This is where you update the script from your VM. So it looks all pretty normal. And then that's what we'll be running. So you can do this manually, but to save time, you can also go over to the helper scripts. And so you start in your node right here, then you go to your shell right here, and I'm going to clear this out. Then, um, so you're going to paste in what you copied over there, and you're going to hit enter or return. This will create a new NADN LXC proceed, yes. So use default settings, yes. So it's creating the container right now. It's starting it up over here, if you can see. And starting the container, setting up the container operating system. Now we're connected, assigned an IP address. I would suggest assigning a static IP instead of using a IP pool on DHCP. So set up node.js repository installed node.js so everything it's doing we already saw over in the github when I showed you so it's now installing NADN
Okay, it's cleaning up. It's assigned an IP address, so we're gonna copy this. We're gonna just put it inside there. And then here you go, you, you set up your owner account. So you can do that, or you can skip setup for now. You don't have to set up an owner account. You can skip setup. You can customize N8N for you. So software as a service, DevOps. And other home automation. And then get started. Okay, this is where you add your first step. You can set up triggers like a webhook, and then you can have that listen for uh, events to happen. Then you can go out and you can see your webhook set up. Now, now you can start adding actions to it. Like there's home assistant. So you can add an app, a, a, an action to call service. So you can put in your credentials right here, your host 813 and then your access token on your user. And you can set the resource, set the operation and then you can set your ID and then your service name or ID. So it's pretty simple. And then you just keep on making the workflow and then you can e execute it down here if you want to. And you can go over here to uh, start from scratch. You can go over here and you can see your wor workflow templates. So you can click on one of these and you can say use with this workflow. And then you can see that it did give you a template to work with. So you can. And then you can go over here to credentials. So you can add a credential for, for different things. Like Cl Cloudflare, you can add a credential for. And then um, you can add variables. Well, not on the community button. And then, um, so you can keep track of your executions that happen. You can go down here to settings and you can have, have unlimited active workflows. And then you can set up your owner account. And then, um, you can control NADN programmatically. So set up or, API. Some of these features are paid. So you can install a community no a nodes too. This will take you to NPM. So that is how to get NADN working on Proxmox. So there you have it. I showed you step by step on how to install NADN on Proxmox. And uh, so you can hook it up to an ingress or anything and uh, expose it to the web. Uh, you can use Cloudflare Tunnels or anything like that. So if you like my tutorial, subscribe, comment, like. And also, if you need any support, you can comment down below or you can co comment inside of Big Bear Community on our Discord. So, um, so stay tuned for more.